The African University is accessing funding, well... I would say is, is the funding these days is quite competitive. Access uh, funding has been extraordinarily difficult. So I mean, just to say that there's pretty little you can do without uh, funding. But I know the biggest barrier is actually is uh, just getting the information and getting the information on time. Okay, I'm William Cumbown and I'm founder of the company now known as Research and one of the prime movers behind Research Africa. Well, we started Research Africa because we knew that there was this disconnection between established research networks with lots of money outside Africa and then on the other hand, a lot of talented researchers and possibility in Africa and they weren't connected very well. And yet we had these big problems like climate change and many others, that need an African contribution to their solution. Okay, I am Hilda Kiwasila, working with the Institute of Resource Assessment of the University of Dar es Salaam. This is a flood-prone area, but uh, we have people occupying it. And uh, we have done a kind of research here to look into how people adapt and mitigate climate change uh, effects like flooding. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh oh! It is uh, very difficult to access funding for mitigating climate change effects. Uh, accessing funds is uh, it's, it's quite, it's not an easy task. The Research Africa team are a team of dedicated professionals who are passionate about building research capacity in Africa via the Research Professional Platform. So we cover the whole of the African continent. We have Mozambique, we have Rwanda, we have Uganda. We have Cameroon, where we have uh, very great relationships. We have Nigeria. Uh, we've worked with Gambia. Uh, South Africa is actually uh, one of the main countries with some of the biggest institutions. We are one of the top three research universities in Africa. The success at Stellenbosch University in terms of research funding can be attributed, certainly um, in part, to our use of the relevant tools, such as research. Africa plays a very, very crucial role in all of that. It's a completely unique platform, um, actually, I believe globally. We have over 5,500 sponsors, so 5,500 funders of research across the whole world. We have almost 12,000 funding opportunities on Research Professional and Research Africa at any one time. And of those, there are over 3,000 that are open to researchers based in African institutions. Very good news for African researchers, they have a great deal of choice. We can find information in very many places. Um, we live in an information age, but the Research Africa platform actually pre-screens and filters that information to make it relevant to us. In many cases, there are other tools, as you know, for funding opportunities, but you have to really go through many layers. And so that's why we, we particularly like Research Africa, because it's targeted for us. Yeah, one of the things about Research Africa that inspired me um, is uh, when, when I look at all the funding that's available, I get a sense of, sense of relief because uh, deciding that you want to take up a career as a researcher isn't always the easiest thing, seeing as there's not a lot of money coming your way. Um, so it gives me a sense of relief to see that there is actually funding available from all international entities. On the other side of the business is the research news. So who's funding, what are they funding, for what impact? But we also employ correspondents across the continent. It's very important because the thing with Africa is that they, there was this report that said that African researchers don't know each other, so they get to know each other, also to be kept informed about what's going on around them. And the third thing that we provide is a set of workflow tools that actually help the research manager and the academics to do things such as form work groups, collaborating on an application. 
we increasingly are starting to focus on support. We're seeing a definite need that there is, is sometimes a gap between the idea of the proposal and the actual development of the proposals. And that we could give good input in terms of what proposals are lacking. My greatest ambition for African universities that they become research-based universities, looking at the research to fit the problems of Africa, to solving problems in Africa. Well, my biggest dream as a scientist uh, is to see these type of flood-prone areas not habited by people. There's a lot of money out there. There is so much money out there. We keep hearing about ever since the economic downturn, it's all become so bleak. We're not seeing it. What we are seeing is that it's become much more competitive. If you are not in the game of identifying opportunities for funding and applying for funding, then probably you're throwing away you know, half, two-thirds, three-quarters of your potential income for research.